Now, we've heard a lot about augmented and virtual reality, but outside of gaming, is it practical in the workplace? That's a key focus at this year's Augmented World Expo in Silicon Valley. CCTV's Mark New has this detail. At the Augmented World Expo, it's goggles, goggles, and more goggles. Companies like Vuforia are out to prove augmented reality is not just fun and games. Their software allows a service technician to more quickly repair almost anything. If you have ever struggled with something that looked like a diagram of something three-dimensional, an instruction manual, maybe putting together furniture, an automotive manual where you're trying to go through different steps, all those kinds of diagrams come off the paper and now can be over your eyes or in your hands using AR. These air or augmented interactive reality glasses are for anyone in the business of fixing, serving or treating machines, peoples or animals. So you can see everything that I'm seeing now. I see you, I see this person, I see the whole exhibit. But I can, with the flick of a wrist, bring in, with my hand gesture, data about the company you're from. And I can make a video call by going like this. This augmented reality simulator is called the Sodomatic. It's already sold more than 1,000 units in more than 40 countries. The creators say, if I practice with it each day, in several months' time, I could become a professional welder. The expo also showcases robotics with a goal toward increased interactivity. These sunbeam floors at conventions and shows. I can just be everywhere I want. If I wanted to go to Japan, I could go to Japan. If I wanted to go to Europe, I could go to Europe. All from my home office right here in Orange County. Technology also crosses into politics as guest speaker Zoltan Istvan currently runs for U.S. president. He's the founder of the Transhumanist Party, which seeks to use tech to change America and more. We're trying to use science and technology to overcome death. Isfahan offers thoughts that have never crossed the leading candidates' minds, such as would it be better to someday have an artificial intelligence robot president? Mark New, CCTV, Santa Clara, California.